Now let us discuss about want of factor. Want of factor is used for calculation of colligative properties and this is denoted by a small i. To understand the concept of want of factor, let us consider these two situations. I have water and in water if I add one mole of urea, urea is NH2CO NH2. Now urea will not dissociate into solution. So if I add one mole of urea, solution will contain one mole of urea molecule. This means I can say in this case solution will contain one mole urea particle and we are interested in only numbers not in identity so we can say it contains one mole particle. Now let us say we have second situation, same vessel, we have water and this time we are adding one mole of KCl and you know KCl is a strong electrolyte so it will dissociate completely. So when you add KCl into solution it will dissociate to give K plus and Cl minus ion. So we have one mole KCl, it will generate one mole K plus and one mole Cl minus ion. So this time solution will contain two mole of ion. There will be one mole K plus, one mole Cl minus, there will be no KCl. So this time solution will contain two moles of particle. And this time particle is ion. So when I say particle, I mean it can be atom, it can be ion or it can be molecule. So in the first case, finally we have one mole of particles, so we define want of factor is 1. In the second case, finally we have two moles of particle, so we define want of factor is 2. So now we can define want of factor i and this is equals to number of moles of particle after dissociation or in some cases it can be association divided by number of moles of particle initially We can also divide the same equation by volume because volume of solution remains same. So volume of solution is constant so we can divide numerator by volume and we can divide denominator by volume so number of mole becomes concentration. So we can write this is same as concentration of particle after dissociation or association
and divided by concentration of particle initially. And from where this equation I am getting, basically I am dividing this equation by volume and this by volume. So we are dividing numerator by volume and denominator by volume and in that case we will get the second equation. Now let us discuss want of factor for case of dissociation. So I have a molecule AXB by and this dissociates these two ions and this is a balanced equation and we know that degree of dissociation of this compound is alpha. So we have been given that is degree of dissociation is given. and this is alpha. So degree of dissociation is alpha. Let us say initially I have A moles of this and this is 0 mole and this is 0 mole. Now alpha is the degree of dissociation. This means A alpha mole will dissociate. So we will have only A minus A alpha moles of AXB by that is left and this is mole that is dissociated. So this is dissociated. Now you see 1 mole dissociates to give x mole of A. So this means if A alpha dissociates it will give x A alpha mole of A, A by plus that is A ion. Similarly 1 mole of this will give bi mole of B ion. So A alpha will give bi A alpha of B ion. So now we can calculate want of factor that is total number of mole after dissociation. So we have A minus A alpha plus XA alpha plus by A alpha and this divided by initial number of mole is A. So we can have A and we can take alpha common, A alpha common. So we will have X plus by minus A that is minus 1 divided by A. So we can cancel A. So we will have 1 plus alpha times x plus by minus 1. So this is the want of factor. x plus by is sum of molar coefficients of product and 1 is molar coefficient of reactant. So we can also write the same equation. Let us put x plus by minus 1 is equals to n. So this becomes n. So i is equals to 1 plus n alpha. What is n? That is mole of product minus mole of reactant. And this is basically sum of mole of product minus sum of mole of reactant. So from this equation you can see I is always greater than 1 because alpha will be positive. So for dissociation we can say I is greater than 1. So whenever we have a case of dissociation I is greater than 1. Now let us consider case of association. Let us say n molecules of A associates to form a n molecule and this gives 1 mole. Initially we have A moles and this is 0. Now let us say degree of association is given this time. So degree of association 
and this value let us assume this is again alpha so I can see a alpha moles of a associate then we will have only a minus a alpha moles of a that is left so a alpha that is moles of a associated moles of a associated now when n moles of a associate it gives only one mole of a n so when a alpha mole will associate it will give only a alpha by n moles of a n so now we can calculate want of factor i that is moles after dissociation or association divided by initial moles so we will have a common that is 1 minus alpha plus alpha by n and this by a so i is equals to 1 minus alpha plus alpha by n or we can write i is equals to 1 and let us take alpha common so we will have 1 by n minus 1 so this is want of factor now from here we can see n is always greater than 1 so this number is less than 1 so this is a negative number this means if I subtract some negative number with 1 we have less than 1 so in this case i is less than 1 so in this case we will have association so now we have three situations that is i is equals to 1 i is greater than 1 i is less than 1 i is less than 1 we have association i is greater than 1 we have dissociation i is equals to 1 that is neither dissociation nor association so this is about want of factor want of factor can experimentally be measured using the colligative properties want of factor can also be defined as colligative properties observed observed divided by colligative properties expected and these colligative properties can be osmotic pressure it can be vapor pressure lowering it can be boiling point elevation or it can be freezing point depression for example if you have idea of osmotic pressure it is given by pi is equals to CRT and this will be discussed in some other lectures and this is expected but observed will be pi is equals to i times CRT so this is observed so let us call this is pi 1 this is pi 2 so we can define pi 2 by pi 1 that is equals to want of factor so this is a experimental way to calculate want of factor so in this lecture we discussed about want of factor and only one important point we have that 
1 2 factor is defined as moles after dissociation or association divided by initial moles that is before dissociation or association